My name is Bob Frum, and I'm going to be your instructor for Chem 111L this semester. I'm making this video because we're not going to meet face-to-face -face in the first couple weeks of the semester, and so this will help you. But I will see you uh, the first day of class uh, on Zoom, and I'll go over all this material again, and you'll get to see my pretty face as well. So uh, let me just show you what, what I have here. I, I have an addendum. To, this is your the Canvas site for this class, and so there's a syllabus which I'm going to go over. This is this document right here. This explains what's different uh, for the first three weeks while we're going to be uh, online. This is how you get into my Zoom account, and again, this is the change in the syllabus. And the only thing is that uh, we're going to be meeting online, but we will be meeting online through Zoom the first couple of weeks. All right, so let me just kind of go through how the class is going to work. Let me go through the syllabus here. Oops, get that up here. All right, so this is the syllabus to the course. And so you, this is the companion course to the lecture. So there's several experiments, and they're, they're fun, and they will illustrate a lot of the stuff we talk about in the lecture. But they're, they're also just interesting stuff. And hopefully you get a good feel for how we do science, all right? Anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me, you can read the objectives on your own. As far as the textbook, you have a lab manual that you need to purchase that we wrote. That's pretty much all you need for the class. Everything else we're going to give you. So we're going to give you safety goggles, a lock, and a lab apron. And on the 23rd of February, when we're back in face-to-face, -face, we will also uh, get you checked into lockers. All right? Uh, office hours are... You can read right here, Tuesdays from 8 to 11, Wednesdays 11 to 12, Thursdays from 10 to 11. Everything will be on Zoom again for the first three weeks. Let's count how many times I say Zoom for the first three weeks. Uh, but after that, on Tuesdays from 8 to 9.30, uh, my office, I will also have a Zoom office hour. So, And then I'm going to keep that going all semester. Now, the class is going to meet every Wednesday from 2.20 to 5.20. Again, the first three weeks, I want you on Zoom during that time. After that, we will actually meet in a room in uh, MS-412. And make sure you're there to do the experiments. Um, and then also remember that you know if you decide to drop any class, make sure you actually drop. Don't just stop showing up and assume we're going to drop you. All right. Uh, also, once you check into a locker, you will have to check out of the locker, or you'll be charged for any material that's missing. All right, this is pandemic protocol, so you're going to be wearing masks and safety goggles. All right, now, safety is very important, and so there's some uh, safety video I'm going to have you watch. I'll go through that in just a moment. And then uh, we'll talk about safety a little bit more when we're face-to-face -face because it'll be easier to talk about that. Uh, as I said, you must check out of the lab. We'll do that together the last day of class, but if you do decide to drop, which I hope you don't, um, you know, you'll have to come by and do that. Now, as far as working in a lab, clothing is a little bit of an issue, and it's a safety issue. It's not a fashion issue. So you definitely need to wear shoes that cover your feet because if someone drops something, right, you don't want broken glass to, you know, to fall on you or to even step on it. Uh, you should wear you know, clothing that covers your body. Uh, the, the idea is the more barriers between you and the chemicals, right? So that, that idea. If you're not appropriately attired, you don't have safety goggles or something, I'm not going to let you work in the lab. But you can certainly go change or go get a pair of safety goggles and come on back. Sometimes there's going to be equipment that's not in your locker. Just make sure you don't put it in your locker because the reason it's not in your locker is we don't have enough of it. All right, but we do have enough for a lab section. All right, now, the way I'm going to grade the class is there's going to be quizzes and experiments. So the quizzes, there's going to be t uh, 10 of them. I'm going to count the best mine. They're quick 10-minute quizzes. If you've read the experiment, you should be fine. The first two quizzes, of course, are going to be done through Canvas, but I'm going to have you in a Zoom session at the same time, and you'll just answer the questions on Canvas. All right? Um, and then the rest of them will do the first part of class. So typically what I like to do is we class starts at 2.20. Uh, gives you an, I'll give you a 10-minute opportunity to ask me any questions. And then we start the quiz. And then after the quiz, we'll go through the experiment. Okay. Then the experiments themselves, 
you're gonna the first two you'll do online and I'll explain that the other ones you'll do and then you'll fill in your lab manual has data sheets and questions those will be due at the end of class the following week so for example you do experiment one in week two experiment one is due by the end of class on week three all right and experiment one you'll turn in through canvas the rest of them you'll actually hand to me uh, the, of the 13 experiments I count the best 12 and they're 50 points each, so you can look at the grading scheme is right here, and I use a 90, 80, 70 uh, grading scale. All right, this is the lab schedule, and so the first week I'm going to go over all this material again with you. Uh, the second week is experiment one, the third week is experiment two, and again these ones will be done on Canvas and through Zoom. These ones starting with experiment three will be in the same room together. It'll be much more fun, much more interesting. All right, the last thing I want to do is just go through the Canvas site and kind of how you're going to do things. So you definitely want to go through this. I, you can look at the syllabus, which I've just gone through, the addendum, which I've gone through. This video that I'm making was going to be posted here. This is a link to Zoom. You don't have to be there every Wednesday, but the first few. Student Services has a lot of great stuff that can help you with things, so it's not a bad idea to, to see what's available to you. And then this is lab safety and equipment. This stuff is in the lab manual, but you can certainly read it here instead, or you can read it in the lab manual. Same with this. All right. This is a safety video from the American Chemical Society that I want you to watch. And then you're going to take a safety quiz. Now, this is not graded, but I do want you to do it. And this just ensures that you've done the safety, safety video. Then uh, the second week, this is experiment one. Before you come to class, you should read the background, which again is in the lab manual, but you can also read it right here. Then we will take this quiz. Again, it's going to start at 2.20, I'm sorry, 2.30, and then once the quiz is over, then you can just work on the lab. What we do for the lab, because we won't actually be in the room, is I've done the experiment myself and I made videos of them, and you can use these videos to get the data. All right? And then what you'll do is you'll have the completed data sheets, and you can put them right here, down here. Okay. And you'll upload them, to, uh, scan them, make them into PDFs. If you can make it into one, make it into one document, that way you can upload it as one document. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, people have been doing it for a couple semesters, and this is where you'll upload it. Don't be alarmed that this says 106 points. That's something for me. Okay, I'll scale it to a 50 scale. Experiment two will be the same way. So that's pretty much how the class is going to work. And like I said, uh, in experiment one, you're going to turn in, I'm sorry, here. Experiment two, though, right, you see there's no place for you to turn in because experiment two is due on February 23rd, and we will be in the same room together. All right, that takes care of everything we need to know as far as the video. I will go over this material again, as I said, uh, the first day of class, which is February 2nd. So please, please, please be on Zoom on that day. Talk to you soon. Bye.